grandmother. Tell me about when you were a little girl. Well, my dear, long ago in the early part of the 21st century, many had forgotten that human life and the earth upon which it depends are precious. The careless ways of humankind polluted the air, the water, the food, the land, and our bodies and minds. In these times, women bore the greatest burdens. With dignity, we took on the essential acts of tending the land and collecting water, though our lives and livelihoods were constantly threatened. And while the wisdom that was needed to heal the earth had been in our bones for ages, even that precious knowledge was ignored by those who claimed to know what was best for us. Moved by this wisdom, 30 women from around the world came together. Each woman understood the problem of having too little or the problem of having too much, and they began to weave a new story. A story of women leaders transforming their own communities, sharing resources and restoring balance upon the earth. A story rooted in the undeniable fact that when women thrive, communities thrive. In this story, our wisdom was respected, and those who wished to help began to listen. We recognized our interdependence, exchanging solutions like gifts. Around the globe, women joined hands and the story took root. They hosted trainings, learned sustainable technologies, and taught others. People across regions stepped forward in support. Speaking out, their message was heard. They shared knowledge and linked strategies. Real change blossomed as communities took action to advocate, innovate, and preserve. We began to remember the preciousness of the simple things like water, land, and seeds. We remembered to work together. We remembered our real power. After this long journey, we now stand safely on the land in balance, men and women together, caring for each other with visionary solutions, preserving the earth for those who will follow. We have finally come home.